And welcome back to another edition of Celtic Spotlight. I'm Sean Myers of the Carlo Sports Network, joined by a sophomore cross-country runner for Carlo, Evan Antis. Evan, thank you for taking the time. A uh, lot of interesting questions for you today. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So your most recent race, it was the Car Carnegie Mellon Invite, but it was at your home course at Shenley. How did you perform compared to your expectations heading into that race? I perform, performed as expected. I mean, I was sick that day. So I didn't perform like PR time, but the course is really hard. So I performed pretty well for being sick and since that course is so hard. Talk a little bit about uh, how you handle when you go into a race knowing that you're not 100%. Um, well, I prepare the same way as if I wasn't 100, or if I was 100%. Uh, my goal is to pace off of somebody and hope that the illness is gonna subside for that day. So I'll take like uh, mu mucinous, like break, break up the mucus in my throat and I'll be good. You talk about trying to pace with someone. Well, you only have one teammate that ran with you in that event, Joey Palmieri. Is it difficult to race when you only have one fellow Celtic out there with you? Um, it's kind of lonely, but me and Joey kind of run together. And we pace ourselves together so we can push for the finish. So it's nice knowing that we run similar paces so we know how to push each other. You mentioned that you did not have your personal best at the Carnegie Mellon Invite, but you did set a best time at the Lock Haven Invitational. What was working for you in that race? Well, that race, the course is all flat. There is no hills. So in comparison, uh, nobody sprints real hard at the Carnegie Mellon meet. Everybody was sprinting real hard at the uh, Lock Haven meet. So you're a sophomore now. What have been your areas of focus to improve from a year ago to this season? Well, we got a new coach, and he focuses more on uh, longer miles, long distance. Like our, our coach before was more speed workouts every day. And I think with this approach of doing longer mile days it has helped improve endurance overall for running 5k or 8k's you talk about the new coaching staff michael mclaughlin primarily overseas cross country what are his best qualities i think the best thing with him is that he used to run and he's not too far in age from us so like he already knows what it's like being a college runner he already knows like typical things that you would get as a college runner we're in the middle of the season for cross country right now as we're turning October to November. Take me through a typical day of practice, what you'd like to do. So a typical day is we'd start here and we'd want run a 20 minute warm up, which is approximately two and a half miles from here to Shenley. Once we get to Shenley, we would do dynamic stretches for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then depending on if it's a workout day or like a speed day, we would do sprints or like a hip mobility workout and then start the workout. For workout days, it's like a tempo run plus like a faster thing, so like 1K repeats or hill sprints. And other off days are just long runs. What led to your decision to come to Carlo University? I really like Carlo's psych program. I've been really interested in psychology since I was in high school. And uh, they have a MAP program, which is a fast track to your master's. So that was a big deal for me, considering you need a master's to do anything in psych. You maybe already answered this, but what is your major and what is your ideal future profession? I'm a dual major in psychology with a focus in counseling and criminology. Um, my goal is to get my master's and possibly pursue a doctoral degree and become a counselor or someone who oversees a hospital-like facility, like a program director. Aside from running cross country, what's your favorite part of college? Probably the social aspect of it, getting to hang out with friends, study. Did you know a lot of people before you came here? Um, yeah, I came here with my best friend from high school, and we met his roommate when we did uh, an overnight stay here, like when we were filling it out. So we all kind of knew each other, and then that branched out into more people. So it was kind of nice. You mentioned high school. You went to East Allegheny. What was your fondest high school memory? I think my fondest high school memory, this is track related, is when I had a specific friend just like now who I ran all throughout high school with. We had a, a race. He showed up late to the meet, but he ate like 15 protein bars and ran his best time. That sounds a bit excessive, but I guess if it works. Uh, do you still follow the WPIAL or East Allegheny at all? I do a little bit just because I have a younger sister who's still there, so I get updates from her whenever she goes to the football games. Um, I have a friend who's still in track. He'll tell me how he's doing, give me like a heads up. 
and I still keep in touch with the coach. Is there anything you would change about cross country, any rules? Shorten the race. What would you like to see it? Take it back to a 5K, or a, yeah, 5K. Uh, I know you're a big fan of TV shows, as you told me. Is there one show or several shows that you can basically recite every line to? 100% Friends. Friends. You said you in criminology. I was thinking you're going to say like Criminal Minds or something like that. I don't know. I'm taking some upper level classes next semester or next year, and it'll point me in the direction of whether I want to go forensics or keep with counseling. Gotcha. Uh, what advice would you give to yourself if you could go back in time when you were a high school freshman? Work harder in school. <laughs> Probably freshman year, picked harder classes, pay a little more attention. Well, Evan, I uh, appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. That is Evan Antis of the cross-country team here at Carlo on the Celtics Spotlight.